Just a week after he was freed from a two-year confinement in Turkey for his faith, Pastor Andrew Brunson appeared on CBN 700 Club. He also sat down with CBN News Gary Lane to talk about his experience in prison. Pastor Brunson, it's so good to have you here with us and to see you back home in the United States. Many Christians were praying for you and you were in house arrest and then within 24 hours you were in the United States sitting in the Oval Office with the President of the United States. How did that feel? Well, it's kind of a Joseph situation. Actually, I was uh, just a week ago uh, standing in a Turkish courtroom and it became apparent uh, suddenly that they were going to convict me. We did not know what was going to happen, but it was clear they had decided to convict me. And I didn't know how many years they would give me at that time and how it would escalate things uh, politically, uh, how many years I'd end up in prison. And uh, within 24 hours, and after I was convicted as a terrorist in Turkey, I'm officially convicted now, uh, but released for time served, and then within 24 hours to be able to visit the White House and pray with the President. Uh, it's a Joseph type situation from the prison up to the White House, amazing. Out of all the places in the world you and your wife could have ended up, why Turkey? Well, we didn't originally plan to go there, but our mission at the time asked us to go, and we said, okay. <laughs> Uh, but as we stayed there, we realized that, uh, well, we developed a real love for the country. God put it in our hearts. But one very good reason to be there is it is the largest unevangelized country in the world. Uh, uh, so it has very few believers from a Turkish background. And so this was what I think kept us there for many years, is just sowing into that land, sowing into what we believe is a great harvest that is going to come there. And three months after the coup attempt against the president and his government, uh, you're arrested and you're put in solitary confinement. What was that like? Well, first I was uh, for 13 days with my wife and we were kept together uh, in a detention center. And after that I was transferred uh, on my own. My wife was released after 13 days. And I think that was helpful for me to be uh, rested with her and go through those first days with her because we both went through a process of fear. We didn't know what was going to happen to us. And uh, then when she was released, I knew that she would be fighting for me. Uh, one of the big concerns that uh, people have when they're in prison, especially political prisoners or uh, uh, for reasons of persecution, is that they'll be forgotten. And I knew that my wife would not allow that to happen, that she would fight for me. Uh, being in solitary confinement was very, very difficult, uh, especially for a long time. I, I didn't have a Bible. There were no books. It was just a bed, and, and that was it. And so I had nothing to do uh, throughout the entire day. And actually what really saved me there is somehow a booklet by Mike Bickle. Somebody got it into me. Uh, which we were not allowed to have books, but someone got that into me, and it was just some prayer points. And that kept, helped me to keep my sanity. I just began to pray through that, and I'd pace back and forth across that room for hours, just praying through these prayer points, uh, crying out to God. And before this interview, you were telling me how you started dancing before the Lord. Tell me how that came about. Well, I read a book uh, by Richard Wurmbrand where he describes how when he was in solitary confinement uh, that, you know, God says, uh, Jesus said actually, uh, blessed are you when people persecute you and revile you, falsely say all kinds of evil things about you. Rejoice and be glad, exceedingly glad actually. And Vermbrand danced before the Lord in obedience to this. And I thought, well, I, I don't feel joy, I don't sense joy right now, but I am going to dance before the Lord as Vermbrand did. As a, as a sacrifice of praise. So it was one of the steps I took. That was into my second year when God started to rebuild, rebuild my strength. So every day I would take five minutes and just dance before the Lord and sing those verses from Matthew 5, 10, and 11. And, and I would say, uh, I dance before you as Vernbrand danced before you. Here's my sacrifice of praise. 